Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a screen time on your Mac OS device, specifically Big Sur. So if you want to limit what time the computer can be used from for non-administrator accounts, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and we're going to start by selecting the System Preferences button down in our System Dock. So go ahead and left-click on that. Select the screen time button. It says get insight to value your screen time and set limits for what you want to manage. So weekly reports, you can view daily and weekly charts to get insight to value your screen time. Downtime and app limits, set a schedule for time away from the screen and set daily time limits for app categories you want to manage. Content and privacy restrictions, restrict settings for explicit content, purchases and downloads and privacy. And then finally, screen time passcode. Manage screen time for children from your own iPad, iPhone, or Mac, or use a screen time passcode on your child's device or user account. Go ahead and select continue. So from this page, you see we have a lot of different options we can use here. First thing for the screen time, let's go ahead and just turn this on by selecting the turn on button. And if you want to use the screen time passcode, you can. You see that was one of the options that was presented to us on the previous screen. Go ahead and check mark that. You will need to go ahead and enter a password. So if you're an administrator account, it might recommend that it changes you over to a standard account, pretty much. So again, that will be specific for your case. If you had multiple accounts listed on here, it would let you pick a non-administrator account, which I would recommend for your kids or children that may be using your computer. So once that's out of the way, you can also look at other statistics over here on the left side, such as app usage, different applications that are being used, and how often they're being used. And you can check a calendar here between this week or today. Or if you click the Today button, you can actually go ahead and zoom in on a more specific time. And you can also look at notifications received on your computer, tech ups, different downtime issues, so set a schedule for time away from the screen. During downtime, only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available. So if you turn that on, you can go ahead and schedule a downtime between certain hours of the day. So again, very straightforward. You don't really need an explanation on that. The app limits, if you want to set an app limit for how often an app can be used on your computer, so a daily time limit, you can. You can exclude apps, so always allowed all the time, or you can also disable them too from there. And content and privacy, if you want to restrict different sorts of content, purchases, downloads, you can. Again, you should go ahead and turn that on, and then you can customize different web content, gaming center, and if you select the other tabs here, you can sort between different stores, iOS requirements, requiring password after so much time has passed, and then again, different apps you want to allow access to. So again, pretty straightforward process there, guys. You select the options button down here at the bottom left. And if you, again, want to set a screen time for the Mac, you can turn that on or off down there. So just another way to access that. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.